Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Nomi Factory, where as you saw in the beginning, we have a new base. It's still heavily work in project, and I'll be moving most of our current infrastructure between episodes. But here I've uh, kind of pathed off the main area, and this is where I'm going to set up most of our basic processes that LV. So stuff like our sulfuric acid and anything else we need made, so cobble works. Actually, yeah, that's pretty much the only thing I can think of would be our cobble works and also sulfuric acid. And this is also where we're going to have our buffers, probably for oxygen and hydrogen, since those electrolyzers cost, since that electrolyzer costs us peanuts to run. But yeah, anyway, catch y'all at the main base. Alright, welcome back to our main camp for now. That base is still work in progress, but I'll try to get most of our stuff moved between episodes. And here I have a uh, craft set up just to get some more uh, conduits up and running. Because we're going to need quite the amount of cabling running through our base. Once, I s once we start spra spreading it out that far. So this is going to work out, but let's look at our quests. So I don't want to get stuff like ethanol and ethylene set up till we're at the new base. So let's see, what can what can we work with? Well, first of all, we can get into loot fabrication, actually. So using this loot fabricator, we can take our, our pristine matters and turn those into actual items, like the pristine zombie matters, for example. We could just turn that into iron or our skeleton matter we can turn it into either bones or tin depending on what we need we could also get arrows or skulls but i don't know what we use those for but anyways here let's clear our terminal let's see what do we need for a loot fabricator turn that around so we're going to need another dark steel hull energetic plates hoppers MVs and this bunch of stuff. So, so energetics we can do. Let's throw 16 through our bending machine, not our wire mill. That's not good. Let's clear this out. And now we have an extra 32 conduits. I don't know whether that's enough, but we shall see. And we also need the dark steel, which I think we're going to need more of. So steel and void. And this should be as simple as throwing it through our alloy smelter. And I'll just throw all our dark steel through. So we need hoppers. So we could just do iron plates and a chest without a circuit. That works for me. Let's just throw 35 of you through. And this is still going to take a while. So we're going to need some LV hulls. Well, that was, thank God, we actually had some left over. We're gonna need some glass panes. Uh, we should have some in here. And actually, I was also cook I was also cooking up some uraninite, so we can start producing more. Get some more food. Some more pulsating clay. Yeah, it's going to take a while. I'll uh, come back with y'all in a sec. And so, with that, we have our loot fabricators. It took a bit longer to craft than I think, and I even... And while I was waiting, I uh, batch crafted some other materials that we needed. But for now, we can just extend this line and place it here. And these do have quite the big buffer. So these guys are going to start getting uh, used. But that's something we can worry about later. But for now, we can get this zombie matter throw it through and we can start producing we can start producing some iron 
though this isn't uh, exactly keeping up yeah and here I as you saw I put up a guardian model so we can start getting gold over here let's get just a stack of uh, pulsating clay start running this so it's not all right because it's still trying to fill its buffer all right, so I'm gonna let's just those kind of do its thing throw I'm gonna just start throwing stuff in there I we have plenty of drives but anyway with that I think we should start working towards our PPC setup or pulsating polymer clay basically it's just a way to automate this and I think it was like episode, what, two or three, that I set up this little flowchart right here. So, so let's get a, let's get a start with this. So, first of all, we're going to need an MV electrolyzer. We can probably just reuse that. Though, I don't know if we need it for anything else. You can split more kind of things. Uh, electrolyzing Ruby. Is Ruby Dust exclusively... An MV electrolysis, it is. Eh, that's nothing. We can uh, we can craft up some more. So let's get some silver. Not that much. Just throw that through. Here I was crafting a lot more circuits. But here we can grab these. That was I made some diodes as well. And what are we missing here? All right, there we go. Here we have some extra resistors. Yeah, these aren't too worth it at the moment because they do take the standard diodes. But once we get into SMDs, they should be they should open up because we just need one galley marcenite and some fine plat in order to get half a stack of diodes. And these diodes are only two, so we can get a full stack of these integrateds with just one. With just one gallium marcenide. Anyway, let's start making up some more of these circuits. I wonder, can this keep up? No, it still can't. Is there anything else using power? Or do we just not even produce enough? I don't think we even produce enough. As the zombie's cheap, I'm just let ha I'm just let the zombie run. But anyway, let's get some of our aluminium. Unless we have some here. Yes, we do. We come over here. So now we need more copper cable and more raw iron plates. So let's search up rot. Let's just actually, you know what? Let's just throw a full stack in there. No, while that runs through, we still have to keep throwing. Uh, we still have to keep throwing our silver foil through over here. So it's gonna it's gonna take a while. But anyway, let's get some more copper wire. Just throw a whole stack in there, because why not? Uh, let us get our glue tank. I'll put the coal dust over here. Oh, we actually do have copper cable. Yeah, now it's just the raw iron. Alright, so there's our three holes. So let's see, we need an alloy smelter. We need an electrolyzer. And we also need a furnace. Actually, no, not a furnace. Let's get a chemical reactor. So let us see, what can we make at the moment? So here we just need some MVs and Cooper nickel cable. Well, that works. Alright, we're out of soldiering ally. 
Well, that lasted us a good while. Uh, oh, this is 4x. And this is 8x. Alright, so there's our alloy smelter. We need some silver wire. And I'll just throw this through here. It's going to take long. Five seconds. Yeah, it's not long at all. And our chemical reactor is going to need a motor and a bronze rotor. One, two, three, four. Aim it upwards. That's taking up quite a bit. As well as an um, A motor. So we can actually probably throw that in here. And we're missing everything. <laughs> Do I have any leftover steel rods? Yeah. Oh, right. So this needs to be 2x. So we've got our rotor. Oh, right. The magnetic sea rods. Glass. And the rotor, which I think I put over here, yeah. Uh, there's our chemical reactor. And we do need some extra copper to coat. Let's just use this. Why to put the glass away? And there's our electrolyzer. Was the chemical reactor not a quest? It was. Oh, it just didn't show it. All right, and then our peep, and then our clay and sand over here should be fast enough, since we're not. Mm hmm. Yeah, we're not going to have that many flute fabricators at the moment. But for now, uh, yeah, we can just kind of keep throwing it here and there. things up and we still don't have power here which is uh isn't the greatest thing but uh yeah now we can now if with this with this layout fully set up we can f we can start facading it later or if i get lazy i'll just leave it like this <laughs> no but that's our cobble works fully up and running and here in our backpack we have the rest of our things which for now I'm, I'll probably have to build a new thing for it though for now we're just gonna spaghetti pipes everywhere so for now we're going to have a furnace here and then we're going to electrolyze it and then I think chemical react it and then we need another furnace. And then we need to alloy smelt it. Which will go into its own drawer right about here. And most of these are... We're also going to need an Enderman model to provide us pearls. But, uh, yeah, I'm actually running kind of late on some things so i'm gonna just push this episode out and i'll get back with y'all later hopefully with the base moved between episodes uh yeah again sorry for the short episode but i thank y'all for watching nevertheless and i hope to see you next time peace